And for another example, air enters a nozzle at a pressure of 3 meganewtons per meter squared and with a temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. It leaves at a pressure of 0.5 meganewtons per meter squared. The exit pressure is, uh, the exit area is 5,000 millimeters squared. Expansion through the nozzle is adiabatic. And assuming gamma is 1.4, the universal gas constant is 287, and the specific heat capacity constant pressure is 1.0045 kilojoules per kilogram degree Kelvin, we're asked to determine the mass flow through the nozzle, the throat area, and the Mach number at exit. Okay, so the first thing is, what are we given in the question? So we're given the pressure and temperature at the entrance. So the pressure is 3 meganewtons per meter squared, and the temperature, when converted to Kelvin, is 673. We're also given the pressure at the exit, but we're not given the temperature at the exit, so we're going to need to get that. And it is an adiabatic process, so we can use our adiabatic process formula. We're going to assume that this is station 1, and this is station 2, and yeah, we'll just go ahead now and calculate the, uh, the temperature at the exit. So this is our formula. We rearrange it to get T2, plug in the values. So T1 is 673, P1, sorry, P2 is 0.5, uh, P1 is 3, and that gives us a temperature of 403 degrees Kelvin. Once we have the te temperature, we can calculate the velocity. So um, CP, uh, I've converted to joules. Joules is given to us in kilojoules. I've converted to joules uh, per kilogram. T1 is 673. T2 here was 403. And that works out to be 736 uh, meters per second. Okay, so mass flow is rho AC. So uh, we have the area. We now have the velocity, so we need to get the density. So density is pressure over R times T. So the pressure is uh, 500,000 meganewtons per meter squared. R is a constant of 287. The temperature is 403. So it gives me a density of 4.3 kilograms per meter cubed. I can now plug all the values into the equation to get the mass flow. So density is 4.3 area. I need to convert this to meters squared. So there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. So millimeter squares is a thousand by a thousand. So that's a million. So divide, divide 5,000 by a million to bring it to meters squared. And the velocity is 736. So that gives me a mass flow of 15.8 kilograms per second. So that's the uh, the first part of the question uh, answered. Second part is what is the throat area? Okay, so um, at the throat the airflow is choked, so we have the speed of sound right here, so we have also the critical pressure, so we will need to calculate the, the critical pressure. So the critical pressure, there's the formula for it. The pressure in is 3 meganewtons. So I'll plug that value in. And we get the critical pressure to be approximately uh, 158.5 kilonewtons. I think it actually is 158484. Uh, but just uh, I've rounded up here. We can also get the critical temperature. And the critical temperature is 641 degrees Kelvin. So I'm using the temperature here at the inlet. If I have the critical temperature, I can get the speed of sound at that station. So the speed of sound is gamma RTC. Plug in the values and I get the speed of sound to be 507 meters per second. So that's the velocity. So the air is traveling at the speed of sound right here at the throat. So the velocity is 507. So the mass flow uh, calculated, it's rho AC. So we need to calculate the rho. 
So it's the pressure over RT. And the pressure is um, 158484. I just round it up here. The R is 287, so that's our constant. And we have our temperature is 641. So that gives me a density of 0.86 kilograms per meter cubed at this station. Okay, uh, just <clears throat> showing all the values. So the mass flow is equal to rho AC. So the area is the mass flow over at rho C. We calculated rho as 0.86. We calculated the velocity as 507. So that gives me an area of 0.36 meters cubed, which is 3,600 millimeters squared. I'll just make that correction there. So the area is 3,600 millimeters squared. All right, so that's the throat area. Sec the last uh, part of this question, calculate the Mach number at exit. Um, well, just uh, as a precursor to that, so what is Mach number? So Mach number is the velocity, and we'll use the letter C here for velocity, velocity over the speed of sound. And it's to be at the exit. Well, we already know what the velocity at the exit was. Uh, we had calculated that. So we just need to calculate the speed of sound at the exit. So the velocity at the exit uh, we had already calculated um, it to be 736 meters per second. The velocity, sorry, the speed of sound then a is equal to gamma RT, so whatever the temperature is at this station. So the speed of sound at this station then is 1.4287403. So this was the temperature we had we had previously calculated for, for here. So that's 402 meters per second. I can now put in my formula for the Mach number. It's C over A which is 736 over my 402, and that works out to be Mach 1.8.